हेलो स्टूडेंट्स डू यू नो दैट लिविंग थिंग्स नीड फूड यस वी नीड फूड टू ग्रो लाइक वाइज प्लांट्स ऑल्सो नीड फूड टू ग्रो ए बेबी प्लांट डेवलप्स इन टू ए ट्री दिस इज बिकॉज इट गेट द फूड एंड देन ग्रो आफ्टर समटाइम्स इट वीयर्स fruits flowers branches it means for the growth of the plant energy is required to get the food we move here and there but the plants do not move then how do they get food so in this chapter we will describe about the how do plants make their food my dear students plants have a green pigment in their leaves so these green leaves make food for their own for the plant a plant make its food in the green leaves thus green leaves are the food factory of the plants the process by which green plants make food is called photosynthesis photo means light synthesis means putting together so to make the food by plants their green leaves require the energy from the sun that is solar energy and in the presence of solar energy their green leaves having chlorophyll as a green chemical which absorbs carbon dioxide from the air and water and minerals from the ground and make food <clears throat> plants need raw material like carbon dioxide and water so carbon dioxide they collect from the air with the help of the stomata present on the surface of the leaves okay so what is stomata stomata is the tiny pore present on the leaf surface water required by plants is drawn from the soil through the root how do they collect water they collect water from the soil <clears throat> sunlight is available during the day time so it means plant make food only during their day time and this is the action of chlorophyll that is the green pigment present in their leaves which is essential for completing the process in the green leaves so just you see in this figure that this is a plant and leaves are collecting carbon dioxide so there are stomata but it is not shown in this figure so stomata are the small pores opening present on the surface of the leaves through which they collect carbon dioxide and this green pigment is called chlorophyll it absorbs sunlight the water and minerals from the soil is collected by roots and then it is sent to the plant leaves so now the plant leaves have all necessary things such as carbon dioxide water and minerals and sunlight after that these leaves prepare food that is called photosynthesis in this process the plant leaves make carbohydrate what do they make they make carbohydrate and oxygen as by product so just you see that here oxygen is released 
आफ्टर मेकिंग फूड द ग्रीन लीव्स रिलीज ग्रीन लीव्स रिलीज वट इज ऑक्सीजन राइट दिस ऑक्सीजन इज यूज बाय ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स ड्यूरिंग रिस्परेशन सो प्लांट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस एज दे प्रोवाइड फ्रूट्स एंड फ्लावर्स एज वेल एज ऑक्सीजन दैट इज लाइफ लाइन फॉर अस सम प्लांट्स नीड एक्स्ट्रा फूड इन एडिशन टू वाट दे प्रिपेयर बाई फोटो सेंथिस सम प्लांट्स नीड सम एक्स्ट्रा मैनरल्स एक्स्ट्रा फूड बट दे डू नॉट मेक देयर फॉर हाउ डू दे गेट दीज आर प्लांट्स दैट ग्रो इन पुअर सॉयल विच लैक नाइट्रोजन सॉल्ट दे गेट दीज extra nutrients from insects such plants that need extra food from insects are called insectivorous plants so plants that trap and feed on insects are called insectivorous plants <coughs> when a fly trap just you see the picture of this so venus fly trap this capture the insect on their leaves fold it and absorb the food of uh, food and nutrients of the insect present in the insect and then absorb it so venus fly trap and pitcher plant now you see the picture of the pitcher plant here right so these are the small opening <coughs> through which there is a, some uh, chemical having a smell the insects are attracted by this smell and when they move inside there is a thorny structure and chemical or fluid present inside that capture the plant insects and not allow to move outside therefore after just same time the cap is covered so that plant there is no chance for the insect to escape out and then after its death plant absorb protein and some other nutrients present in the insect body okay so the body of these insects are then broken down digested and consumed by plants okay so you have to remember that some plants like venus fly trap and pitcher plants get food from the insects extra food from the insects okay our next topic is students reproduction in plants so plants need food for energy then plants are living things so there is another process which involves in the living things that is called reproduction what is called reproduction the all living things produce their own kind to maintain their race and number on the earth what do means produce, reproduction to produce their own kind to maintain their race and number on the earth the process by which a living thing produce more of its own kind is called reproduction the process by which a living things produce more of its own kind is called reproduction plants also reproduce their own kind they do so mainly in two ways one is reproduction through seeds and number two 
reproduction through different parts of the plant like underground stem stem cutting root and leaves okay there are two types of reproduction in plants reproduction through seeds when we sow the seed in the soil and seeds get suitable conditions such as moisture air then the baby plant tiny baby plants grow out from the seed and after developing the baby plant into a mature tree or any other plant that is called reproduction through seeds if we if we cut the a part of the stem such as uh, rose and marigold and fix it in the soil uh, provide the water and other facility which is essential for the plant body then through their stem a new plant and develops root grows into the soil and then a new plants is developed or grown so here the reproduction of the such a plant is called vegetative propagation what is called vegetative propagation <clears throat> first of all go in detail with the reproduction through seeds the seed of a plant usually develops inside the fruit as the fruit ripen the seeds become mature do you know when fruits ripen then seeds become mature these seeds get dispersed through various agent like air water insects and human beings who disperses the seeds seeds are dispersed dispersed means scattering means bikhar jana seeds are dispersed through various agent like air to kaun bikhirta hai air water insects animals human beings ye sab mil kar ke uske seed ko plant se dur dur tak bikhirte hain all the seeds then that drop on the soil do not grow to form new plants dear students it is necessary to know that all seeds do not develop into new plant because all seeds cannot get suitable condition to grow many of them die due to unfavorable conditions only those seeds which get favorable conditions like appropriate air water soil and proper temperature they grow to form a new plants okay thank you